High trade of the S&P 500 gained 1% last week. May's employment number came in much lower than expected, but really, why ruin the bull party? In a bull market, disappointing numbers are often being ignored. As I mentioned in the past few weeks, we never argue with the bulls. Our job is to ride the trend as long as it lasts. We are experiencing one of the longest bull markets in history, but not the longest one. This may continue, in fact, for years. Take a look at the S&P 500, and as you can see over here, you can see that the market did move over this very nice formation, this inverse head and shoulder formation, and probably, very likely, is going to continue. However, it is a little bit extended right now, so I will not be surprised if we have a small pullback or the market may rest in the coming week, but we are moving higher, the trend is higher, and we should, as I mentioned earlier, ride the market as long as it lasts. Let's take a look at last week's piece. We had Visa. Visa moved nicely. Over $93 did move over 3% which is our first target where we sell three quarters. Now we have only quarter size left, which is with a stop at the entry point. Our second pick was Starbucks, also moved over 4%. Again, at 3%, we sell three quarters. So Starbucks over $62 made very well move upside. Our third pick was MU Long. MU moved up to 5% and again over 3% where we take our 3% three quarters partial and hold the last quarter to the entry point. Our last pick was A. A did not reach yet my 3% target but did move up very nicely and we are waiting for the 3% hopefully this week. Again, if the market is going to continue higher, it's going to be very helpful for A to reach the first 3% target. Let's have two picks for this week. My first pick for the week is CTRP, long over $56.75, a Chinese travel company, very, very nice uptrend and a very nice consolidation right here, the highs. Look at this resistance point right over here. If you move higher, over $56.75, we're probably going to continue. Again, we need some help from the market. Hopefully, we're going to get it. My second pick for the week is MNST, long over $51.31, a beverage company from the US, very nice uptrend and a nice bull flag formation right here at the highs. I wish you a great trading week and see you next week. Traders, I would love to hear your thoughts regarding this video, so let's have a discussion in the comments below. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, just go ahead and click subscribe. And if you like to learn trading, trade live with me and get a funded account without risking your money, click right over here in order to learn more about my funded accounts program.